Hello guys, so welcome to Non-Residential Bomb. Today we're going to talk about a term called success. What I'm going to talk about success, it, it's a vast term, but we're going to talk in short what are the ways you can be a successful person and you can consider yourself reaching it up to the parameters and be successful. So, success does, is not measured by quantities or any qualities, okay? It's an individualistic choice. It's an individual goal that what can make your life a success. For me, it can be buying a car and I call myself successful. For others, it might be buying a flat and it can be considered as successful. For another person, it can be buying a company and becoming an owner that can be called a success. So it is different depending upon the individual and a person. So let's understand and go into a little bit deep about what is called success. I was looking into a few videos lately and there were a lot of motivation speakers. So whatever I'm gonna speak out, it, some of them you might find similarities, but most of it is taken from real life and those speakers have helped me to shape up my career. So I thought of sharing with you guys. So definitely let's understand more into this world called success and how can you be a successful person. When we talk about success, uh, we definitely need to understand we all make mistakes and mistakes teach us a lot of things. Definitely if it teaches us a lot of things, we need to not only understand our mistakes, but we need to see what the others are also making a mistake and learn out of it. It is very important. It is not because of competition or anything. It is because you need or you will understand how to deal with different situations and how can you come out of it. If you want to become a successful person, this is one of the qualities we need to understand and this is only possible if you consider yourself a very positive and an optimistic person. When I talk about positive things, definitely positive things has a different light or a shade to throw upon our lives. Most of us, we, have, we fail to understand that every decision we take, it is either going to be in a positive way or there is going to be a negative way. There is nothing in this world which does not have only negatives or only positives. You will find some positives and some negatives. We need to take things in a positive way and that is the only way you can be successful. Because negative things are never going to leave you. You need to understand. So we should not crib about the negative things and always think about positive things which is going to help us shape up our career and make our life a success story. Combination is something very important and everybody should face. If you're only the person in the race, you know that okay, everything is happening, it has to happen in a positive way. Competition gives you the edge to differentiate between you're doing the thing on a good note in a positive direction or there are some negatives out of it. Competition will give you the edge to understand how you're doing things and how the other person is doing the same thing in a different way but both of you are reaching the goal together this is this can be very much negotiated or that can be very much understood by a case studies you can definitely look up to case studies um, in the market and definitely you can understand how people do things differently with the same kind of a subject but reach the same goal so competition is not only going to help you others but it is going to help you to understand what position you have in the market the third point i want to discuss is called quality we need to understand that quality impacts our quantity if you're going to run towards numbers if you're going to run towards graphs you're going to run towards how can i make more money you need to ask yourself do you have the quality to make are you at par with others? Are you doing things differently? If you do not improve your quality and if you do not update yourself in the market, you will never be successful. And if even if you're reaching up 
to the parameter slowly and steadily your graph is going to go down so improve yourself improve your shortcomings we are not perfect human beings everybody of us has shortcomings improve your shortcomings improve your quality definitely you're going to be reaching out to that quantity you want and definitely that is going to be a part of your success story last but not the least i want to talk about how you can do things differently if you are going to do things not differently from what is already there in the market you do not have you're not going to have basically customers or viewers who are going to engage upon your ideas we need to understand one thing that doing things on a very monotonous way or doing things at the same pace what people already do it's not going to create a more different than what other people do or it's going to do in future we need to do things differently and that is only possible if you do researches we need to understand we need to do things differently you cannot be doing the same things what other people are doing definitely that's not going to create the same aura or the same kind of a effect what you're going to be expecting of so always make sure that you improve your quality you improve the things that you have shortcomings and definitely do things differently for other people to notice because people look out for new things old things are already there nobody takes care or nobody gives a damn do things new do things differently and definitely you will be a part of the success thank you guys for watching today's video and share me your comments and your success stories which i would love to hear and even if you're not successful as of yet you got a different goal set it up right now and aim for it keep a piece of paper in front of you and look into it every day until unless you achieve your goal and you become a successful person thank you guys for watching the video like share and subscribe and i will see you in my next video